Do you bake some really delicious cookies and you want to turn that into a business? Well, you must watch this video towards the end because I'm reacting to this video. Bang Cookies that bakes more than 5,000 gooey cookies every single week. I'm going to give you my analysis and see whether they are the real deal or not. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a thriving small business and a profitable food business. Today we're going to be reacting to the Bang Cookie videos to see how they're making 5,000 cookies every single week. And if this is something that you enjoy, make sure you guys smash the like button because it's just going to be able to help me create more great videos just for you. So help me out here, smash the like button so then that way I can actually pay for Jason to edit the videos to be able to push it back out to you. Okay, now without further ado, let's dive right in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No dessert is more classic than a deliciously gooey chocolate chip cookie. And that's why people love Bang Cookies in New Jersey. The best way to describe it is like those cookies that you used to have in the cafeteria that are really gooey and gooey, but like it's cooked more. They're better than that. Three years ago, Bang Cookies was selling a few hundred cookies a day at farmer's markets. We sold out in the first hour and we didn't ex expect that. Uh, ever since then, we sold- It's really cool because a lot of big brands actually start from the farmer's market, taking tiny little steps to prove their concept, to prove that people are actually wanting it before they take really bold actions, creating a restaurant and actually signing long-term leases because they can actually prove, tweak their menu, tweak their price point, tweak their R&D to make sure that they're creating something that their customers are wanting. So this is a really smart way of actually approaching business development. That first day, and then we pick up selling out every single day at the farmer's market. Now, George's team bakes more than 20,000 cookies a month with a recipe he spent 15 years fine tuning. Wow. George and his team source ingredients from all over the world, whether it's grass fed butter from New Zealand, chocolate chunks from Europe, or macadamia nuts from Hawaii. <laughs> Each one affects the way these cookies bake and taste. The shop's best seller is its most classic rendition the sea salt chocolate chunk cookie. This so recipe good. uses a mix of white and brown sugar, locally milled organic flour, grass-fed butter, and both milk and semi-sweet dark chocolate. Oh my God. Different chocolates gives it different nuance and flavors, so it gives it more complexity. So it kind of counterbalances the difference between the sweetness of the actual milk chocolate versus the semi-bitterness of semi-sweet chocolate chunk. Each cookie is topped with a sprinkle of sea salt because when it hits your mouth, it hits it in a way that you're plating into the cookie and then you're tasting the sweetness and the saltiness in combination. Enough. So good. Cookies. I love cookies. One of my favorite treats of all times. Something that he talked about is that he sources his ingredient from all over the world. And I'm pretty sure when he first started off at the farmer's market, it wasn't like that. And he was just improving as the years went by. It took him 15 years. Guys, do not ever compare yourself at where you're at with where someone else's is at on their own journey. Do not be beaten down just because you're like, you know what, where do I get the resources? Where do I get the know-how? Where do I get the recipe and the opportunity? to actually go and source from all these places. And when you compare yourself with someone like that, then you know what, you're never gonna start because you're, you're gonna be like, I'm always gonna be behind. Never ever do that because you can actually source from your local ingredients and your local grocery market. And as long as you have the heart, as long as you have, you're always out there to gather customer feedback because they're the ones gonna tell you whether it's good, whether it's not good, and then to improve it slowly and surely, you're gonna be able to grow a really loyal fan base because they see the progression in you and they're gonna grow with you and you're always improving to deliver that great cookie. It's off the menu. You love the s'mores. Uh, s'mores, I really love that one. I know they do a s'mores cookie really well. It's like nice and gooey but with the crunchy outside. This one's notably more time consuming to make than the rest. Every single s'mores cookie that we do has to be pieced together with broken graham crackers that we break by hand and then manually put it in. Finally, each cookie is individually packaged in plastic so customers can see exactly what's put on the inside. This is something really smart. Part of the reason why I, I believe is because with cookies, how much can you really sell cookies for? Two bucks, three bucks, four bucks? So at the end of the day, you do not want to sell individual cookies. You want to sell them by batches. Why? It is because it increases your average order value. That means you can actually sell 12 of them at the same time, 24 of them at the same time, 
for people to share at home, for people to buy as gifts, many more use cases when people are buying batch cookies instead of one single one. Instead of selling, selling one at a farmer's market, now you can sell it to people that serves multiple different purpose. This is something that is called job to be done. Definitely, you guys, if you guys haven't done so, make sure you guys Google job to be done. It also keeps them fresh and soft. I feel like it's gooey, it's like it's big, it's, I can taste that it's organic, like it's like good ingredients. <laughs> Bank cookies didn't initially attract customers for cookies, but rather the name of the shop itself. <laughs> we wanted a name that would be able to draw attention because we didn't have like the marketing funds at all. You know, we wanted something that's outlandish because we're the new players in the farmer's market. So we decided to call ourselves Bang Me Bakery. <laughs> a lot of customers would look over like, is that a real name? But like, yeah, it is. So try the cookies now. They Super smart guy when he's able to do something like this. At the end of the day, it's all about talking points. And if you can create something just a little bit more out of the ordinary, that's gonna be your talking point. So whether it is a bigger size cookie, the size of your face, that would have to be a talking point. Or you're talking about using random ingredients, like for example, cereal. 10 years ago, cereal milk was not a popular ingredient and they were made popular because of certain chefs and how they brought it into the mainstream. So using side ingredients is a really great way for you to create a talking point for your product and your brand. The name changed to be a bit more kid friendly, <laughs> but the customers kept coming. It's 526, what time did you get online? 410. Because Jessica at the pizza shop said we have to try them, that they are so awesome, and for us to please get her a t shirt. And with so much demand, Bang Cookies has already opened two locations in Jersey City, wow. and they've got plans for more to come. That means more cookies for customers across the country who've already had them shipped to states like California, Alaska, and Hawaii. This is the reason why it is so important for all of us to understand the product selection and also being able to utilize what is happening today with technology and everything. Utilize the logistics that is available for us today. Utilize the third-party apps, utilize Ghost Kitchens, utilize your product and the nature and characteristics of your product because when you're able to do that, you can reach a lot more people than your local vicinity. Nowadays, when we're thinking about food, we need to be able to open up our minds because it is no longer limited by the location of where our shop is anymore. No, we can sell nationally and even internationally, even as a cookie. That is heavenly. The chocolate is so oh melted. My God. It's so deliciously melted. You're not getting hit over the head with sweetness because you kind of have those two chocolates to balance each other out. And then you have the savory sweet component in every bite, which is great. That's why I think the sea salt taco chong is probably one of their best selling cookies. Wow. It has great texture. Like the outer edges you gotta are stop, so man. lightly, nicely crisp. And that like chewy gooey. Thank you. Pie. This is not helping with my up. diet at all, Jason. Sometimes you get these giant massive cookies and they could have that like dip in the middle where you Oh, I just need a glass of milk now. But this is not like Oh my goodness. Dude. Guys, they're definitely the real deal. Something to notice here is that when you see these people or they're coming back again and again for their item, that's called repeat customer. And for you, when you're operating a food business, this is super important for you to understand. For you to have a legitimate business, a sustainable business, always look for the repeat customer. If your item is a fad, if it is something that's just gonna fizzle out, people are gonna try it once and never come back, then that is not a good item because you don't have a business. You only have a project. You only have something like a fidget spinner that's gonna spike and automatically everything goes down. People are gonna try you out once, never ever gonna come back again. So look for the repeat customer, guys. So there you go, friends. My reaction to them, Bang Cookies, selling 5,000 cookies every single week. Something that I really, really enjoy. You know what, looking at this video is quite torturous because I just had my lunch and I'm craving a cookie, which I'm gonna get right after this video. 
But if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys like this analysis, if you guys enjoy the stories that I'm sharing with you guys, make sure you guys smash the like button because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm show it to more people. So then that way I know this is the type of video that you enjoy. So then that way I can make more of these videos for you guys. So smash the like button right now. Otherwise, leave me a comment section in the section below. Let me know how I can improve on these videos so then that way I can make better videos just for you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.